So a couple of years ago, a, uh, a girl who was uh, driving with her mom uh, crashed into my side fence. It was made out of uh, chain link at the time, and uh, I uh, opted to just take the insurance money and build my own fence rather than have them put, put it back for me. And uh, that left me with a bunch of uh, broken and twisted pieces of chain link uh, and a bunch of rails that uh, you know, I eventually replaced them with a cedar fence. And so I decided to make a uh, wind chime. It's the one that you see behind you here. Uh, this wind chime is, is uh, old. Uh, <laughs> I've had it for, for several years now. Uh, the, uh, Cambria likes to play it. She, uh, she grabs this, the, uh, the, the windbreaker there and, and pulls it around and, and makes a lot of noise. It's really fun. But uh, I recently came across a bunch of extra uh, shorter pieces that I had cut. Uh, and then I threw the, the most twisted stuff I just put in a trailer and took to the dumps. But uh, I kept some long uh, top rails of the, of the chain link fence. And then I found a web page where you could cut them to certain lengths to make a pentatonic scale. Uh, and and uh, where to cut them, how, how much, how long to cut them and uh, where to smack them with the knocker, uh, all the details. And, and so I built a set. Well, I'd like a second one, one that's uh, less likely to get destroyed by the children. Uh, and I'd like to make the pieces out of plastic, uh, milk jug plastic. Uh, this top rail here is made out of wood and it's, it's starting to fail. And so uh, I think that's a project that I'm gonna work on. Oh, my color balance is terrible, anyway. Uh, it's a project I think I'd like to work on. I'd like to see if uh, if I can make the knocker and the uh, the top section entirely out of uh, milk jug plastic, uh, high density polyethylene. So stick around, and uh, I'll give you a few tips on on how I do it. So no fancy tools in this build. Really, I'm just going to use this uh, $15 Harbor Freight angle grinder with a, a cutting wheel on it. And I've already just basically taken this uh, piece of fence rail and marked off the, uh, the length of the shortest piece. And I'll do that for a couple so that I can uh, basically recreate what I originally had. So I'm not going to do the measurements, but I can link you guys to a web page uh, where you can put in the pipe inside and outside diameter. And uh, it'll tell you how long to cut it if you want it to make a certain sound and which sounds sound good together, so which lengths you'll need to cut it to. So uh, that's, that's someone else's project, but I can link you to someone who, who did it. I'm basically just gonna go through and cut five pieces of pipe that match the pieces of pipe that I've already built for this other wind chime. So uh, I'll be back after doing that. All right, so I've uh, chopped the, these uh, poles into the right sizes and uh, I can put some details about what sizes those are into the description. And then the second thing I did was I, uh, I took a, a paddle uh, sander to them. Uh, it fits on my angle grinder and I just used it to, to, uh, to take the outside galvanized uh, edging off. That You really should wear a, a dust mask when you're doing that. Uh, don't breathe that stuff in. But it uh, makes them look all shiny. And uh, so so they, uh, they're ready to roll. Uh, first step, like I said, was to get them, get them to this point. And now I'm going to make a, a hole right through them. And I'm gonna do it about, oh, about three inches off of one side. I'm gonna go through each of these and I'm gonna pick out you know, which side I think I want to have on the top and which side I want to be on the bottom, um, depending on how rough they are, because I don't want it to cut uh, the strings that I'm gonna use. I'll pick a spot somewhere in here and I'll drill a hole that goes all the way through and uh, we'll go to that point. Okay, in an effort to get consistent results, I took this board and I drew a line on it with a sharpie and then I just put my board here so that I could uh, make sure that the hole was in the same spot every time. And then I, uh, I put a small divot right there so that I could drill through. And then I just took this piece of uh, round metal and pounded it through 
uh, I'll probably trim it a little and I'll probably put a tack weld on either side but if you have like screws you could do the same thing and just put a just put a screw through it and a nut on the other side something to keep it from coming out either way uh, that's that's the finishing piece uh, once I trim it a little bit uh, of the these rails so in the second video I'll I'll make some uh, I'll make some way to hang everything and I'll make a knocker and I'll probably do that at, like I said out of uh, high-density polyethylene so catch me on the next video see ya